Hey, it's Jay here again. Uh, today we're gonna be taking a look at a J Flight 154BH. This is actually a, a really nice small camper. This is one of the smallest ones that Jayco makes. So it's, you know, pretty suitable for an SUV or a small truck. Nice, small, easy to tow. Room for the kids. So this will measure in at 18 feet long, 28, 24 dry weight, 3540 GVWR. You can get these in a fiberglass or in a stick and tin. Now this isn't a vacuum bonded fiberglass like a J-Feather or a White Hawk. This is more of a hung wall. Got the hand crank tongue jack and a 20 pound bottle. Nice thing about the 20 pounders is you can change them in at the gas station. Gotta love Jayco with the Goodyear tires and up here, steel fenders. Here in the back, you do have the full size spare and a bumper with sewer hose storage right in here. Got the two-way six-gallon uh, DSI water heater. And look at this, the awning goes almost all the way across the unit, so you got lots of shade. Before we go in, I should mention the two plus three-year warranty. So for two years, anything that goes wrong, jaco has got you covered, and the third year is gonna be craftsmanship. All right, let's get to the fun stuff. Check out the inside. So here in the front, we have a couple of lockers up on top, some bungee storage. They used to put an AC here, but now it's up here, which is much better in my opinion. So this is gonna also be your main bed and your dinette. So because it's so small, you gotta be creative with how you can fit you know, two parents and two kids. Unfortunately, unlike many of the SLX seven wides, this one still has the little under cabinet fridge, but uh, hey, you gotta pay for the size. One little bonus though is look at all this counter space. Got the little acrylic sink, two burner propane cooktop. Over that, you have the range, microwave, a little bit of cabinet space. I like this too, you got a nice storage area right by the door. Bluetooth stereo, hookups for a TV. You could put a TV here if you want that. If you really need to get some TV though, you could always watch an iPad. Then coming into the bunks, we got these single bunks with a window. And another one on top. You know, they're kind of, you know, kind of enclosed. But at the end of the day, if you want to pull a 3,500 pound trailer, got to make some sacrifices. And guess what? You can sleep four people in this little thing. Next, you have actually a decent sized pantry. I'm not mad at that. And down below, you could put a few things in here. Coming into the bathroom, little plastic toilet, tub, shower, skylight. So this is me sitting down on the toilet, plenty of leg room. I got a toilet paper roll in front of me. Good seating position. Here's your capacities. So you got 20 gallons of fresh, 19.9 gray, 19.9 black. Here's your floor plan and your MSRP is gonna be 27,557 US dollars. All in all, bang for your buck, this is pretty good. You know, a lot of people have uh, SUVs. I have a Volkswagen Atlas and it can tow 5,000 pounds. I think this would be the perfect size for my wife, myself, and my two kids. Get out there on the weekend, go camping. It's everything you need, nothing you don't need. But I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comments. Do you think this is a good camper? What would you change or what do you love? Thanks, guys.